How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Series 11 is the next update that's coming to Horizon 5. We already know quite a bit about that. I can figure quite a lot out. We're going to talk about that today, along with a hotfix which has appeared in Horizon 5 as of today, and just a few other things going on within the community at the moment. If you do enjoy this video guys, please do consider subscribing. We do stuff like this all the time. Let's get into it. So yes, as I said, there was a new hotfix added to Horizon 5 very, very recently. Forza Support put out a tweet detailing everything that's in the hotfix. As you can see, there's a little graphic with it as usual. They have fixed two of the achievements within Hot Wheels not unlocking. They have fixed a crash on PC that occurred in certain locations, including the Hot Wheels Expedition. Now, I know a lot of people were having issues with this, the game crashing. They fixed a bug where it wouldn't let you drive the X-Class vehicles even after unlocking the X-Class vehicles within Hot, Hot Wheels, and just a few other fixes as you can see on screen. A few of the major bugs which have been happening since Hot Wheels are now fixed. We can see that quite a few people were happy with these changes, but there seems to be a few issues still floating around, which people have made very clear on Twitter. This particular Twitter reply made me laugh because I have no idea what this one means. But yeah, that was the hot fix update, which was added this week. Now let's talk about Series 11. Now, if we go to the Series 11 coming soon tab on the festival playlist, this is what it shows. It says it is Rami's racing history, a new collectible, new cars, new speed zones, and Forzathon shops shales. Now we can actually figure quite a bit out in my opinion. The title, Rami's Racing History. What is this? It could be a few things. It could be a new Horizon story. Rami is a character which is already in Horizon 5. If we go to the sort of the Wikipedia page all about Rami in Horizon 5, it tells us that he's an employee of the Horizon Festival in Mexico and he coordinates lots of the events. What it does say at the bottom is Rami actually runs the Horizon street scene in Mexico under the alias El Jefe. Now, as expected, Rami is featured in the game in a bunch of cutscenes and missions, including the Jungle Expedition, where some of the optional accolades are actually to do with Rami himself, along with some of the street scene cutscenes. I believe the street scene expedition as well also includes Rami. So he's in the game already, but what specifically to do with him is the update about is what we are curious for. Maybe some of the new cars are going to be his favorite cars obviously there's no way of knowing what those are going to be racing history makes it sound like sort of a past tense thing so maybe some of the cars will be more old than they are new we'll have to wait and see as i said maybe it's a horizon story that's what we can take from the series name let's have a look at the four little widgets new collectible obviously new collectibles are stuff like the little mini challenges you get in the festival playlist for example this month we have smash 20 batteries in playa azul that is class is a new collectible the batteries so we're probably going to get some kind of new collectible event within the festival playlist but that is to be expected new cars once again new cars are to be expected we'll touch on that in a little bit new speed zones this one's a bit different to usual essentially new pr stunts is not something we often get into the game apart from the new expansions a few updates ago i believe update five we did get loads of new pr stunts added in one bulk Maybe that's happening again. It does only specifically say speed zones rather than PR stunts. So my guess is just speed zones, whether they are temporary or permanent, just like the other ones, I don't know. But yeah, very self-explanatory. The one that's very interesting though is the Forzathon shop sales. Now we can actually narrow down what this is going to be. You may not remember, but back in update 25 for Forza Horizon 4 in 2020, there was a Forzathon shop sale. And what month did it happen? July and August. I've got the graphics up on screen here. I did a video on this update, obviously almost two years ago now, talking about everything that was in it. And obviously within it was this graphic. This was a Forzathon shop summer sale, which Playground Games did exactly two years ago during summer for Forza Horizon 4. And I will take my best guess that we are getting that exact same thing again for Horizon 5. Now, as you can see this on screen, the way it worked is every day for an entire week, there was one specific car within the Forzathon shop that was at an extreme discount, and you could only buy one of them per customer. Now, all of these cars at the time were very rare. They weren't just cars you could go and buy in the auto show. I don't think so, anyway. So if history does repeat itself, it's my best guess that during this next update, during August time, there will be a week or maybe several weeks where we will get these daily, just daily, 
Forza Fun Shop car deals. And these cars will be rare cars that have been in the festival playlist before. So if you're missing a lot of the new sort of exclusive cars that have popped up in the festival playlist and now gone, this Forza Thon Shop sale might be the opportunity for you to swipe some of them. As I said, each car is only on the shop for a day. That's it, just one day. So you have to be really quick and going on the game daily to grab these cars. So if it's anything similar to Horizon 4, that is what I predict the Forza Thon Shop summer sale will be like. It's the exact same time of year. It makes sense. There's certainly a possibility that Rami is involved with this. Maybe the guy running the Forza Thon Shop sale is Rami and he's going to be picking his favourite cars from the street scene to plonk into the Forza Thon Shop sale. There's no general idea, there's no way of knowing which ones are going to be, but I feel like it may be tied into each other. Series 11 will have a Forza Thon Shop week or couple of weeks where we get exclusive cars that may be Rami's racing history favourites. Certainly a possibility. Now we always touch on the new cars for every specific update, so now within series 11 we don't really know what any of the cars could be, Rami's racing history doesn't really tell us anything about it unfortunately, all we can do is go back to the leaked car list which have I, I have updated once again because as you may remember the BMW M3 GTS has leaked recently in an achievement image as you can see right there, so that car is now added to the leaked car list. Maybe the BMW M3 GTS is one of the cars coming in Series 11, and that's why it's in one of the most recent achievement screenshots. Certainly possible, but nevertheless, I've added it to the leaked car list, and now this is the complete up-to-date leaked car list. All of the black ones aren't in the game yet, so if any of these cars marked in black pique your interest and you think might tie up with Rami's Racing History's update theme, just maybe we'll get them in this month's update. We'll have to wait and see. Apart from all that, guys, I don't think there's much more to say. I do want to show you a channel on YouTube called SP4. You may have remembered in update 9, the physics for some cars actually changed. Well, within update 10, which is the Hot Wheels update, they actually sort of changed back again in a bit of a weird way. Uh, SP4 have actually done some really good comparison videos deep diving into what's exactly changed with the physics of Horizon 5 in the most recent update. So if you're intrigued with that change, go and check out his channel. It is marked on screen as you can see. I definitely recommend checking it out. It's very interesting. I would talk about the physics changes on this channel, but this guy's already covered it all. So go and check it out. As for everything going on guys, that is pretty much everything. We'll find out exactly what Series 11 is all about in a few weeks time. Make sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this, and I'll see you all later.